man, we need to focus on what you're made to do. And as you do that, do you know what we begin to identify? I begin to, you begin to identify some areas, some, some areas in your life where he, it's like there's a wall, there's a barrier, there's an obstacle that's keeping you from what you're made to do. And so our temptation, my temptation and yours, is to point the finger out there at culture and the news and the, the politics and all, all you and family member and in-laws. And, you know, if you just, and, but, but a couple weeks ago, if we're going to live our best life, we need to remember that it's repairing me that makes life better for me. Yes, there are obstacles out there, but if you're going to live your best life, you can't be waiting for everybody else to get there, you know what, together. It's like we got to repair in us. We got to pay attention to the log, as Jesus taught us, in our own life. And when we do that, that's what helps us live our best life, and that's better for other people too. But when you and I start to identify an area in our life that needs repair, do you know what my temptation is? talked about this last week it's to do it alone it's to try to figure it out and solve it I don't really want to talk about it because it's a little embarrassing you know it's like you know I want to show that I have what it takes but if we're going to live our best life we need to remember that my life and your life is better when we journey together when we have a group of people we're not trying to do it alone and we're not just hanging out we're actually going somewhere together